Grammy Vulture. You can call me Leah. Today I have an awesome recipe I want to share with you. It is my lemon bars. No, not lemon bars. It is a lemon tart. And guess what? It's got lemons and it's tart, but it's sweet too. So it's really, really yummy. Hang out with me and we'll get this done. Into the blender goes six tablespoons of butter, one fourth cup of powdered sugar, and one cup of all-purpose flour. This is a cake pan, not a pie dish, or a tart pan. And this is very crumbed up. And it's still very cold because that butter was frozen. Put it in evenly. And then press it. This is a shortbread cookie dough, actually. It's gonna be really hard to get it pressed in. I may have to use my fingers because it won't stick to the warmth, you know. You want it to come up the edges. Not a whole bunch, but some. The first time I ever made this, it was a great, wonderful experiment. And I wrote it down and it turned out right, which is very rare. Once I get this pressed in, then I'll poke holes in it and bake it 350 for 12 minutes till it's a little bit browned. Remember you want it good and pressed. Oh, that looks good to me. Okay, in the oven, time to zest some lemons. Get the rind. I need a tablespoon. For the filling, we need a full cup of granulated sugar, lemon juice. One third cup, use it all. Three eggs, three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. You might think when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. I make lemon tart. Right, there's always a method to our madness, the lemon juice from the sugar. We're going to dissolve it with our lemon zest as well. Our tart crust is cooled down. Crack my eggs into a separate container. All right, three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Yeah, pretty sure that's it. There's my crust. Ta-da! Right, I can't really tell, but this is slightly browned on the edges. Okay, I know. It looks like watery nothingness. Don't worry. It's gonna be so yummy. Okay, it's going in the oven for, I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes. I'll see you in a few. All right, the 15 minute check. Has it really bubbly? Really wobbly still, but the edges look set. Maybe five more minutes. Delicious lemon tart. It is cooked. Uh, it's cool enough to hold the pan, but not hot yet. Those bubbles were made from the froth before I even put it in the oven. I love that they baked there. You can hide that with powdered sugar, but I like it just the way it is. So I'm going to chill it in the fridge for at least an hour, although I don't want to, and then we'll have first bite. All right, here is the lemon tart. I'm just going to call it lemon tart. I sneaked it into the freezer, so it hasn't really been an hour. Remember, this is a cookie crust, so it is going to be tough. No, don't stick. Goodness. Aha! Ta-da! Okay, some of it's stuck. Look at that. Delicious yummy yumminess. Give it a second to sink in. All right. Ready for first bite? All right. Man, that looks so good. I remember this being super delicious. Okay, ready? Tell me how it is. Mm. 
you don't understand just how good that is. <laughs> it's like a lemon bar because it's soft, but it's tart, more like a tart. People like to serve it with strawberries or something red to offset the colors. Probably really good Valentine's Day treat. Anyway, if you make it, let me know and comment down below. Say hi. Oh, say hello. <laughs> anyway, gotta go. See you later. Love you. Bye. I want to say a special thank you to Grandpa for searching the whole house for this recipe for me because I've only made it once before and I didn't know where the card was. Thank you.